Welcome to your farm. Where we do things differently. Turns out the dog likes steak. As part of our COVID preparations, we are continuing to manufacture hand sanitizer. If you make a measurement while the liquid is hot, you'll get the wrong alcohol content. So this is how we cool it down. As you can see, this lot's a little light for hand sanitizer at 65%. So we'll have to think of something else to do with it. We've been doing fairly well on lockdown, but there have been a few hiccups. We got an awesome gaming PC to keep us entertained. That died on day one. After filming our lovely mushroom episode, our oven went bang. Fortunately, here's a new one. We've had a plague of mice, which means that we've had to fill Vic's office full of the chook food with a bit of protection. But fortunately, the greenhouse and garden are doing well. First off, a note to YouTube reviewers, these are called air guns. They are not firearms and therefore YouTube prohibitions on firearms do not apply. They're also being used safely. Thank you. And for those of you who have no interest in guns, here are some pictures of cats. I want to find out which is my most powerful air rifle. So, we have a target here, which swings around, freshly oiled. There we go. And uh, I will shoot it with one and shoot it with the other and we'll count the spins on the video and see which one goes around most. And of course, some um, safety specs, these are shooting glasses. First up, uh, my Benjamin sight probably at about 18 foot-pound of energy. It doesn't really matter whether I fire it from a meter away or two meters away or 20 centimeters away. Uh, I just don't want to get hit by the bits. All right, so here we go. Three, two, one. Second time, just to make sure it wasn't a fluke. Three, two, one. While Vic's playing with his guns, Rocky and I are going to do some gardening. But first I need my dipper. Yes, I said that right. Good boy. We're going to plant some outside so that they grow slower and we get cabbages throughout the winter. And hidden amongst these potatoes is a tap so I can turn on the water and we'll water them in. I think Rocky is missing trips to the range. Now this is, um, well, Canon 737 now. It used to be called a Sharp Innova when I was a young lad. Um, it's got about 20 pumps inside it. So she's well pressured up. See how this one goes. In three, two, one. Don't know about you, but I think that went round more times. Let's pump it up and try again. I've humanely shot a rabbit at an excess of 50 paces with this. So um, I think it's actually quite good. this shot um, I stuffed up and didn't put a pellet in. However, it does show that it's not the compressed air from pumping up that's affecting the movement of the target. This time with a pellet in, in three, two, one. I did it a few more times with much the same results, but I won't bore you with that. Now we've spaced all our plants apart so we've got a small plant and then a big plant. This means that they do not overcrowd each other. So that's a um, space saver which is a kind of cabbage. Yeah, 
to the left and right we have uh, some lettuce and lettuces are rapidly growing so we'll be able to sort of pick them and then the cabbage will fill up the gap. Now you've seen us picking up these um, things here. Uh, these are just turned pieces of wood. They block the sunlight from the hole and that stops algae growing down there when the hole isn't got a plant in it. It's the time of year where we actually have to start supporting the broad beans uh, so they don't flop over. They'll grow quite fine if they do flop over but uh, we can't reach beans. Wait. 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 Okay. This one is clearly the more powerful of the two. It has a longer range. It's probably more accurate. But it's not my air rifle of choice because it takes so long to get a second shot in for either that second bit of game or a coup de grasse. And it makes a bugger of a noise both when you pump it up and when you fire it. And yes, I've tried using a silencer. Um, it's not really suited to this gun, I'm afraid. It, it, damages the end cap and um, doesn't do that much to silence it. So although this one is not as strong, can't shoot as far and is less accurate, um, it is quieter and I can get the second shot in fairly quickly. Um, so probably, except for exceptional circumstances, this is the one I'm going to take with me. We had to uh, chop the top off the, the fantastic kale in the greenhouse to stop it damaging the other plants. So we've decided to keep it as a pet. I'm calling her Kaylee. But for now, that's your lot down on Geeko Farm.